Si Mang Felix ay isa sa mga laksa-laksang homeowners na sobrang nahirapan dahil sa real estate bubble nung nakaraang mga taon. Nakadagdag pa sa kanyang paghihirap ang paglubha ng sakit ng kanyang asawa. Umabot sa puntong mawawalan na ng tirahan si Mang Felix. That was 2011. Today, Mang Felix is one of Robin Ning's biggest success stories. Let's hear his inspiring story on Get Real. Malaki ang inisip ko ng mga problema noon dahil number one, asawa ko masakit. Pangalawa, may kaso. Pangatlo, ang bahay. Inaagaw sa akin. Kahit sino mang malagay sa sitwasyon ni Mang Felix ay malamang matataranta o mawawalan ng pag-asa. Araw-gabi, sari-saring kolektor ang sabay-sabay na tumatawag sa kanya. Sabi nila, Delikwent daw ako, yung babayaran ko 5,000, yung isa naman 3,000, yung isa naman 2,000, ma, uh, maipuproklos daw yung tirahan ko. Akala ko matutuloyan na magiging homeless ako. Bukod sa dinaranas na kahirapan ni Mang Felix sa Amerika, naapektuhan din siya ng bagyong Yolanda sa Pilipinas nang mag bahay ng kanyang mga mahal sa buhay na naninirahan sa Leyte. Sa mga araw na panahon na yun ay isa akong hoplis. Hello, Canadian. It's Robin Ning. Ning, we're in at Felix Andrade's house in Pittsburgh, California. Right. And this story, I'm so happy that we're doing this today. Severely underwater. Yeah. His wife has medical issues. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of things going wrong in his life. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And so we knew that it was going to be a multi segment plan. Yeah. And he was willing to sit down, look mm -hmm. at all of his options, and follow the plan. Mm -hmm. And through that, he's been able to, you know, accomplish going through bankruptcy. Mm hmm. He did a short sale. Right. He got into a lease option. Right. He then was able to refi with a no credit loan, right. the lease option. And that is the reason for why whenever you call us and you talk to me, either me or Rob, we always ask, what is your goal? Mm -hmm. Kasi po mahalaga na mapag-usapan po natin yon. And then any areas po ng buhay natin, mm -hmm. we can, you know, if you don't mind sharing it with us, yeah. para po magamit natin yon. Kasi mm -hmm. they're, they're probably, uh, we can use that scenario to to be able to put a realistic plan yeah. for them. And his plan is much longer than most people's. Oh yeah. Right? Yes. It's a five year plan. Mm -hmm. uh, so he took it, he stayed with it, he was mm -hmm. persistent, and here he is. Now he's reaping the mm -hmm. benefits of mm -hmm. that plan. Mm -hmm. right. And today, which is kind of the final segment, right. he, his credit has soared. He's over 700. Right. He refinanced, they closed this past week, and now he has cash in his pocket right I, i'm afraid to say how much but it's yeah. a lot uh-huh and he's now at a rate and he lowered his payment on top of it and right. so uh he's very very happy mm -hmm. and we're very happy that he's been willing to share every point along the way mabuti na lang nagat survive ang masasabi ko lang sa kanila kay Robert at sa ganing salamat natulungan ako kung meron kayong problema na gagaya ko lumapit lang kayo kay Naning at sa Robert dahil sila ay matulungin ngayon masaya na kasi magkakauwi ako So right now, Robert, si Mr. Andrade is in the Philippines. Pinifix po niya yung kanyang bahay na nasira po ng Typhoon Yolanda. Yeah, in Leyte, right? Yes, in Leyte. Yeah. So it's really a great story. Yeah. Very appreciative, Mr. Andrade. And, uh, you know, the thing is to remember is, uh, Canation, we will get a plan for you if you need one. We will stand by you. Yes. However long mm -hmm. it takes. This one was five, six years. <laughs> And just just know that give us a call, 888-860-9530, or visit us online. Or you can go to our website, Paul, and schedule your free consultation with either Robert or Ning. So from Rob and Ning, until next time, bye. bye.